It, hello? Is this thing on? It's, wait a minute, wait, no, hold on. I swear it, hello? Is that, is that working? Oh, my hands are in front of the, okay. Uh, I think that's, I think we, yeah? Can you, okay, that seems to be, sorry, Abe. Uh, right. Um, I should probably get off of this tree before I, oh, vines, didn't know I could climb those. Um, okay, we appear to, there's a tree in the way. Um, hold on. Just trying to make my way slowly so I don't don't drop my camera here. Uh, right. We are in a jungle. There's an ocean over there, and there's a mountain right here. Okay. Okay, I can work with this. There's a lot of wood around. There's like a cave right there, and there's even an ocean if I need to get water for any reason. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. I can do this. So, uh, status update. I have gotten an iron pickaxe as well as a stone and a wooden one because you kind of have to get all those to get iron. I was very lucky there was a an iron vein right there and then there was a coal vein up there and there is even more up there. And I even found there's a lot of emerald ore here. There's one there, there's one there. And then also if we look right here, I just noticed this one. God, it's gonna be very it's gonna be so hard to record with a camera in one hand there's an emerald ore right there too which i think you can get those from trading with villagers but who knows anyways i think i'm just going to take this and then we can continue on our journey ah it is getting dark um oh dear i think that I am going to participate in the time-honored tradition of digging down a couple blocks and hiding in a hole until sunrise. This could- nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh, and another thing that I just realized, I haven't actually said what we're doing here. So, hi. Uh, my name is Six, and Welcome to Project Nexus. I've never actually ever done anything like this before, and I'm not entirely sure what to expect from it. I... I don't know. I just kind of bought a cheap camera and just kind of went out into the world. And I hope that if everything goes well, I should be able to, like, cobble together some recordings, pun intended, and maybe post it online if I manage to find internet out in the great blocky wilderness. It's very nice meeting you all, and, um, yeah. I don't actually... How do I... Hold on. How do I make this thing stop... Is that the button? No, that Hold on. No, hold on. No, wait. Let's see, is it morning yet? Yeah, yep, it is. Alright, time to back up the old crafting table and get out of here. Huh. Well, I see lots of emerald ore around, but no real place to set up camp on this side of the mountain. There's a this weird little patch of trees just in the middle of- ow. In the middle of a mountain? What? Lots of emerald ore. Like, that's two over there. I think I've seen six emerald ore since I've gone down here. This, that's cr just on the surface. I haven't even started going into the caves yet. And I don't think I will for a while. The monsters are scary, but... Huh. Weird. Ah, fertile land. This is good. I've been... 
I really don't want to spend the night in a hole again. That was very long. I didn't get any sleep whatsoever. And also, I'm getting a little bit hungry, which I don't really... Listen, okay, I'm not a vegetarian. I just... It's just different when you're killing the... When you're killing the animals, like, yourself. And then there's raw meat all over your hands and it feels horrible and then you have to put it in and cook it and make sure it doesn't burn and it's just it's just a whole hassle ooh cows now i know there's okay these appear to be lowland cows but i know there's a species called highland cows or i guess as the scots call them highland coos which i don't know what's the correct way to pronounce that I think the um, I think if the cows are Scottish, then I think I should pronounce them in a Scottish accent as well. Or not really a Scottish accent. I'm bad at accents. But ooh, horses. Anyways, even though I can't really do any sort of good accent, what I'm really looking for here is sheep. And oh, there's a guy. There's a lad. See, what I'm looking for here is, yep, I just need some wool to make a bed. Also, ooh, a bee! I know my, um, I know my camera isn't, I'm very sorry, this is a very cheap camera, and I bought it for, and I got it for very cheap, and that is enough wool to make a bed, thank you. But, it's just, there might be a couple of frame drops sometimes because I tend to swing my camera around a lot. So, um, I'll try and save up for a new one soon. I might mind, I might even mine the emeralds out of those hills, but I think diamonds have a better resale value. I don't know. I don't know economy. I only know... I wasn't supposed to craft that. Ah, we have a perfectly bed-sized hole here. How convenient. Um, hello? Hello? Can I, can I sleep, please? Okay, I've crafted a bucket, and I climbed all the way back up this mountain range just to get a bucket of water so that I could make a farm so that I didn't have to kill any animals and deal with raw meat. I actually cannot sprint because of how hungry I am. I am going to have to walk all the way back down there, and hopefully not take any damage because that would not be good and the sun is going down and... <sighs> And now, with all of those seeds planted, now I just have to wait for them to grow. I read somewhere that you can actually put, um, you can actually make plants grow faster if you put a light source nearby. So I also, I learned this really cool trick from my uncle, and he taught me that if you put a slab in, a, in the water and then put a torch on top, then, okay, <laughs> he, okay, he says, putting the slab on the completely wrong half of the block, there we go, and now, see, blends in perfectly, I am a very accomplished farmer, look at me go, there, my camera was a little bit foggy, anyways, as you can see, there is, this is, that's the mountain I just came down from, um, I had to walk all the way back up there just for a piece of water and like it's fine, it's normal. Right there is what I was interested in. So that right there is a ruined nether portal and they show up sometimes in, in, in the world, just, I don't know. I've been, I've read a couple of books. Of course, these things are basically legendary nowadays. Of course, you can make your own if you get a diamond pickaxe and some uh, obsidian, and then you can craft one yourself. I've studied a lot, but and I've but 
you know, I ha most of the time I haven't actually gotten laid enough into, like, the world to... If we just climb this here, that's a little bit rude. Watch out for the lava and the, and the fire blocks. But usually, aha! Yeah, usually these things have some chests in them. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Horse armor. That's cool, and I think you can use these for enchanting. Now, there doesn't appear to be... I don't know if there's any obsidian. Stop that. Stop dying. Oh, yep, there's two, two obsidian right there, perfectly fine. Okay, so that means we just need one, two, three to get this thing going properly. Okay, great. That makes my life a whole bunch easier, but um, considering that um, right now I don't actually have any armor on, I don't think that would be the best idea. So, I think I'm probably gonna get myself set up with some more food, have a little trek up the mountain, and then I can start making myself a house and also some decent armor because, you know, I already have enough iron to make a pickaxe and shears and stuff, and then I didn't make anything for a sword or a shovel or an axe, which is okay. It's fine. That's okay. It happens sometimes. And I kind of didn't use cobblestone. I don't know why I didn't use cobblestone to craft your mom, but... And what if... Oh, oh my goodness, it's a little family! Hi there! But... Yeah, this... That thing is crazy. I'm definitely not going to be building anything over there until I have way more time, resources, and perhaps even an Elytra. I've never really gotten there before. To the end, I mean. Like, I've heard of it, of course. Because, you know, the end is... The end. It's kind of everywhere after everything is gone. But, you know, I also have to explore over here because that looks really interesting. Yeah, you got some uh, high elevation meadows. Those look cool. But... For now, I think I'm just going to chill out here for a little while, get myself some iron, get myself some wheat, and then I'll get back with y'all after that, because that's probably going to take a couple days, and recording all of that would be a little bit boring. I then went on a little adventure through the mountains, mining a ton of iron and discovering some pretty deep caves as I went. Turns out, there's a lot of them around here, as well as a whole bunch of emerald ore, which I found around 14. My pickaxe then broke, so I crafted a stone one just so that I could pick up my furnace. I got over a stack and a half of iron, and then I went and headed back home. Now, I wonder where I can get some glass to, buy, to make some windows. I don't think there's any around here. I've been looking and there doesn't seem to be any readily available on the surface. And I don't think there's any in the ground either, although that is a very dark and mysterious looking hole that I will not be touching. So I guess for now I'm just gonna have to do things the old fashioned way. Maybe make a couple trapdoors to serve as windows instead. I think they, I think they do that in some parts of the world. Just cause it gets so hot over there that they have to open the windows, and they can't really do that easy if the windows are glass. So they have shutters. I think that's a good idea, seeing as I'm living real close to a jungle. Oh, hello. That is an incredibly large bee. That is two incredibly large bees. Are all bees that big? I could have sworn they weren't that big where I came back home. I have officially moved into the house, which, unfortunately, due to an, an, a camera error, let's call it that, none of my none of the videos that I took had audio with them. This 
was definitely a natural glitch and the camera caused by overheating in the system and definitely wasn't me completely forgetting to unmute it. That is actually exactly what happened. Um, I completely forgot to unmute and I only realized this after recording this. Sorry. Because my thumb slipped. Anyways, so we got truck doors for the windows because I can't find any sand anywhere yet. I think I'm going to try to fix that the next time I start recording. But, you know, it's a cozy little place. It's a little bit empty right now, but I can fix that later. Have a nice double chest, crafting table, good old anvil, furnaces, whole bunch of coal and iron, and also some decent armor. So I think we're pretty much set. It ain't the prettiest thing on God's green earth, but... You know, even if it doesn't win any awards for beauty, which it definitely won't, it, it'll it keep the rain out when it's, when it's drizzling outside, and that's good enough for me. Also, my garden's growing in real well. Got some pumpkins over there, some melons right here, and, and even some wheat, which I think somewhere I have enough to make bread. Ooh, yes. Finally, I don't have to subsist off of melons. Well, I still do because this that little plot out there ain't very big, but you get the point. Anyways, I think that is going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all the next time, and thank you for tuning in to my very silly little project. I will see you all later. Don't subscribe, don't like, I'm not your mom. Thank you!